gonna be showing you guys five things, five, five simple things you can um, you can make. Um, so first off, we have an elevator, and then we have a red box that comes in two different designs. Then we have a working soda machine that I've been needing to show you guys how to make. Then we have a working chicken coop. By the way, all these things are working. By the way, uh, everything that includes that are including in this video, and uh, a working photo booth. And there's three different kinds. Uh, so first, I'll tell you about every single one of them before we get started. Um, so the elevator. Um, uh, you can open them up. Of course, you got to get into them. And you can actually climb scaffolding, which is where the idea came from. So there's no uh, redstone needed. Except the only problem with this is that you've got all this stuff in the way. But you know, it's all worth it. So if you want to... This is actually, you know, if you're an Xbox version at least. I don't know how you do it in any other version. I don't know if it's the same way for PS4. But if you're an Xbox version, you simply go under the um, scaffolding. And then you hold A to go up. And then you can go through the second floor. But if you want to go down, you simply hold... You simply hold B and it will take you down. Um, and of course hit the button to get out. And then yeah, that'll be your elevator. So it's a working elevator. Um, obviously you can make it as tall or short as you want. Then you got red box. So basically if you don't know where a box is, it's something you'd find at a Walmart or something. Uh, some sort of store like that. It's kind of like a movie vending machine. So you hit the So you hit the button down here and something like a movie pops out. You know, um, or here's a smaller, simpler version that works the same way. Just click a button. It's got a screen, says red box. It's so it's simpler. Um, then you got a working soda machine where you can pick what soda you want. So let's say I want root beer. You click it, the root beer pops out. That works the same for all the other ones. If I can get that one to pop out. There we go. That works for all those as well. And then for the chicken coop, uh, that's how you enter it, but there's a chicken. Stuck it out there and I don't want to let him out. But I don't know if you guys can see, but inside there is a hopper in the middle. So when chickens lay eggs, they will push, hopefully, they will push the eggs into that little hopper. And then the hopper will eventually uh, make the eggs go right into here. Or I can come in here and pick them up. Obviously there's no eggs in there right now. But yeah, so there's that's a little working chicken coop. And then, um, if I can find it over here... We have three different photo booths, so there's one where the photos will dispense outside, and then this one is one that will photos will dispense inside, and then there's one that it will dispense both outside and inside, so you guys can obviously choose which one you'd like. I'd personally go for the one that goes inside so I wouldn't have my photos taken away, but then again, if you want the photo booth to actually be like a real life one, I'd go for the red. Um, so basically, you come in here, you hit the button. The camera, fl the camera lens flashes, and then the photo pops out. Uh, you know, what would pretend to be a photo. Uh, and obviously for this one, you come in here, same thing, take a picture, cheese, pops out from the inside. And the green one, uh, come in here, like I said, say cheese, cheese. So not only does it pop out from the inside, but it also pops out from the outside. And there's only one little piece of redstone needed for this, but it's super, super simple. Um... But yeah, um, everything else here you don't need redstone for, except for the photo booth. You do need redstone for it, but it's only one little piece of redstone, so it's super simple. But yeah, I suppose I'll show you guys how to make the elevator first. Um, so what you guys are gonna need is you're gonna need any color of block. I'm gonna be using gray. Con uh, I'm gonna be using white concrete today. A uh, mechanical door, aka iron door. Any colored button you want, you can obviously it doesn't have to be stone. You can be it can be whatever you want, but I I like to use stone because it's kind of realistic, you know. It's just kind of the original button. Um, in fact, the oak and the uh, stone buttons were the original ones before all the other ones came out. And then that's about it. Oh yeah, also oh no, sorry, <laughs> that one and main thing you need is scaffolding. It's a scaffolding elevator. So basically, um, the sides want to be. Uh, four slats, uh, one, two, three, four, like so, um, and then go right by two, and from there, uh, just make the square like that, so pretty simple, should have a, a two gap, 
and then obviously you can dig up the floors and fill it in. Alright, and then you can put the door, whoops, put the door in there, uh, make the walls uh, about mm, three blocks higher, just so we get the thing over the doors. And then you want space in front of here so you have a button, but then also, like, the scaffolding's not in the way. Then obviously you put scaffolding right at the back there, so and then obviously put a button on the outside so you can get in the elevator. And then, yeah, you can basically make this as tall as you want. I'm only going to make it about three blocks tall before I make my next door. But obviously this works for, like, office buildings, apartment buildings, um, any sort of, like, tall building. Um, or like building that is more than one story, you know, that needs a, you know, it needs a, an elevator. You can totally use it. It's real small, real simple to build. Um, and it will, I'm sure it'll look great in any sort of office building. It's real compact and it's a working one, you know, it actually works. So there, there you go. There's a, it's pretty amazing. Of course, there's no elevator music, but hey. Elevators never have elevator music, which is sad, but whatever. But yeah, and then once you're done, you can just pop a roof on it. And there you go. you got a working elevator. So you just come inside here, you click a button, then you can go up, or you can go down. And then you can go in or out. But yeah, guys, that's how you make the working elevator. It's real simple, obviously, depending on how big your building is. You might want to make it taller, or you might want to make it smaller. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's your working elevator for you. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, the reason this is a different tutorial video is because I've been needing to show you guys how to make the soda machine that was in my um, Del Taco. But then I decided to make like other things that you might want to add in your city if you're making a city. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, next thing we're going to show you guys how to make is red box. So what you guys are going to need for this is you're going to need red, a well, red block. Well, duh. Um, you're gonna need any colored slab you like. I think I'll go for the white slab, aka quartz. Um, and then you're gonna need glass pane for like a screen. You can choose any color you'd like. I do not want the plain glass. <laughs> um, any colored sign you'd like. I'm gonna go for the red sign because it's all red theme. Um, uh, dispenser, button, and then you're gonna need uh, whatever colored like whatever. You think it looks like a movie case. I kind of think that these glass panes work for movie cases. Um, and you can make the bigger design or you can go for the smaller, more compact design. First, I'll show you guys how to make the more compact design. So basically, you simply just stack two blocks on top of each other. And then you place a slab on top. And then on the slab, you'd write red box. Um, damn it. I'm trying to spell red box. There we go. Okay. Um, and then here... Oh, you also need glass... Um, item frame. Sorry about that, guys. Um, which I'll... Get in here. Get in here, you. Alright, so you put an item frame, then you put your glass on it, and then at the bottom you simply put a button. Um, but then, underneath the machine, where no one will see it, you'll put a dispenser, and then in the dispenser you can place your movies. Um, and then obviously you'd grab some grass block or whatever flooring material you have, and then you'd fill that up, and then, boom! It actually dispenses your little movies. Um, so that's the compact design, then I'll show you guys how to make the bigger design. So basically, keep the materials, um, because they, this uses the same materials. So basically, it's a 2x2 two two compact design. Oh, actually, you do need to add one more material, you're gonna need, um, quartz stairs, or any colored stairs, that, that is. Alright, so basically, two blocks of red, right? Two red. Um, let's see, two red, alright. Uh, one out, right? One out. From, like, this side, left. You can do left or right, it doesn't really matter. So, like, you do two blocks, and then in front of either block, you can put one block, but leave one block open here. So you can put the stair. Now you can do it upside down or you can do it right side up. I think I'd prefer it right side up. Um, and then just basically extend every block up. Put the red block on top of the stair. Put the button right next to the stair. So the dispenser is able to get the signal. And you're able to dispense the movies. And then put one more layer on top. 
Um, you could put the sign left or right. I'm going to put it on the left. And of course, you make it say red box so people know what this is. Um, then beside that, you can put the screen. And then just so you don't have all this empty space, you can kind of put like empty signs for kind of like a decoration purpose. Um, whenever I make these videos, um, I'll definitely make more of these videos in case you have like, if you want ideas for like furniture and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is something you could probably put in like a Walmart, which I will make a Walmart tutorial in the future. Uh, it'll probably be 2020, but it's, yeah, anyway. But yeah, red box. And then we got a smaller version, so you can go for the big one or the small one, doesn't matter. Um, I prefer the small one because it's more compact. Um, but yeah, so that's red box for you. Now, uh, I'm sure you guys how to make the working vending machine, or, well, soda machine for your restaurants. So what you guys are going to need for this, uh, obviously you're going to need a dispenser, uh, whatever flooring material you have, um, whatever color stairs you want, I prefer quartz, and then the block that matches your stair, which is obviously quartz for me, um, buttons, because uh, I don't prefer, I, I prefer buttons because levers just, they're just not as good, um, and then you want signs, I'm going to grab some signs so you can label what is which. Um, and then obviously, next thing you do after that is basically just grab whatever you want to put in your machine. So I'll put some ice and maybe a few sodas, uh, aka potions, oh, and jump boost for like caffeine, mm, strength. All right, jump boost and strength. Uh, I think I'll make this soda machine over here. So you want to kick off your soda machine with, or actually, you don't even need your flowing material. Never mind. I just realized now. Yeah, you guys don't need the flooring material, but you can keep it if you ever make a mistake. Um, but anyway, um, so what you want to do is you want to place however many, uh, however many dispensers you want, or depending on how much space you have, or, you know, something like that. Basically, it depends on how much space you have in your restaurant or wherever you're placing this. Um, crouch and then place them upside down stairs in front of the dispensers. Um, fill the dispensers with, um, your drinks, or whatever. Um, I need to grab more drinks, but, um, hang on. Let me just, uh, fill the machines up first. Hang on. <laughs> uh, because I didn't grab enough. So I'll just grab some random stuff here. Alright, so, just kind of fill the machine up. You can obviously fill it up all the way if you want. I'm sure you would, I'm sure you guys would probably do that. I'm, this is just for a demonstration, so I'm only going to fill it up for, you know, just one soda. Because if I fill them up all the way, it's just going to take forever. Alright, so then, you wrap the stairs around the uh, dispensers. Because you don't want anyone to see the dispensers. Uh, then you place block of quartz on top of the um, dispensers. Um, and this is where your buttons are going to go. So the buttons get the signal for the dispensers, and then the sodas will launch up, and then they'll, yeah. Put another row of quartz on top of the quartz that you just placed, and then place some right side up facing quartz um, block, or quartz stairs, sorry, or whatever stairs you're using. And then on the stairs above the buttons, you place whatever um, is going to come out when you hit that button. So I'm going to say this is like Coke. Um, this one in the middle is ice, um, and you can just do whatever you can do, Ch crazy drinks, you can put like monster energy if you want to, I'm just putting little sodas, um, I'm just doing sodas because that's just something you'd really find in a, um, soda machine, I'm going to say like Sprite, I'm just going to go for some random ones because I don't want to spend too much time thinking of sodas, and like Fanta. Yeah, you know, just whatever sodas you want. Um, yep, and yeah, that's basically it, guys. So now, once you you have a, you can click. Oh, <laughs> okay. You actually need to have the dispensers facing up. I'm sorry, should have mentioned that. <laughs> the dispensers are supposed to be facing up, um, so they don't do that. You don't want your sodas to fall on the floor. Uh, okay, hang on. This will be easier if we. Get under here. It was like we got flooring material. All right. Oh my lordy hell! <laughs> oh, there we go. Now they decide to work. There we go. We got it. 
Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. You actually have to have the dispensers facing up. Words. Damn it. I hate this stupid thing. Oh, my lord. Well, I mean, I guess we do have to fill up the machine, so. But anyway, yeah, so. Um, yeah, you basically just, yeah, just fill up the soda machine. Yeah, and then, yeah, so, yeah, you want the uh, dispensers to face up because you, you guys pretty much saw what happened. The sodas fell on the floor. All right, now, hopefully, yeah. What the? Oh, wait, what? Hang on, guys, I don't know what the hell is going on with my machine. Oh, we did, what? Oh, we didn't put a backside. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, guys, make sure you put a backside. I'm so dumb. Yeah. Well, now I have to refill that machine. Okay. All right. Sorry. I'm making so many mistakes, guys. I mean, that's common for me. I'm I'm terrible with tutorials. Now, once you hit the button. Oh my God! Where the hell are all the sodas go? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, make sure uh, that they face the right way. But yeah, they're supposed to be landing on top of the thing. I don't know. This is. This is dumb. I don't know why it's doing this. I don't know. This this is just dumb. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna destroy this. This is horrible. But yeah, that's basically what it's supposed to be doing. That's basically what it's supposed to do. It worked for the other one. I don't know why it's not working now, but... Like, I did everything right, but whatever. But yeah, hopefully there will be a wall that you'll attach it to, so it'll probably work better. Um, there's no wall to this one, so I don't know why this one didn't work. I don't know. Stupid. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, so that's your working soda machine if you guys are making your restaurants. Um, and next I'll show you guys how to make this working chicken coop. I won't put chickens in it, but uh, I'll show you guys how to make the chicken coop. Um, so basically what you guys are going to need is you're going to need uh, uh, yellow wool or whatever wool you want. That's concrete powder. I do not like concrete powder. It's stupid. There we go. Yellow wool. Um... Whatever color trap door you'd like, I'd like spruce. Uh, whatever slab you want, I'm gonna go for uh, the spruce slab. I'm gonna go for like hay and spruce here. And then you're gonna need hay bale. Um, you're gonna need uh, hoppers and then dispensers. Um, you're gonna need uh, a button and then you're gonna need a mechanical door. Um, uh, let me just check. Oh yeah, you're also gonna need a uh, glass pane. Damn it. Because <laughs> you want to be able to see your chickens. And then of course you want stairs so you can get up to the coop. So grab whatever stair you want. I'm gonna use spruce. I'm going for like a spruce type theme. Um, and I believe that's about it. Yep. Alright, let's get to work. Alright, farmers. Uh, so this could be good for like a farm if you're making a farm. So like, so basically the whole point of it is, is like, they'll drop their eggs, right? Like that chicken just did, I don't know if you guys, you guys can obviously not see the extra quality. But hopefully they'll be able to drop the eggs into the... Yeah, see, look, we already got two eggs. What do you know? So they'll be able to drop the eggs into the dispenser and it will drop into this little dropper here. Um, or not, it's really not dropper, it's a little dispense thing here. So you open it up and you have, you get eggs. Um... So basically what you want to do is you want to do one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four um, hay bales on top of each other. Leave a gap of three. One, two, three. And then put four more. So on each end you want to leave a gap of three. Yeah, each end. Just each end you want to leave a gap of three. Three, three. Alright, so once you've done that... Um, um, on the third block of each side, uh, you want to put a row of hay bales. Make sure they're all facing the same direction, because then it's not going to look that great. It's all going to look weird. So just make sure they're all facing the right way. <clears throat> and then on top of those... <clears throat> sorry, my throat's all weird. <laughs> but on top of those um, <clears throat> hay bales that you just placed, you want to put glass pane. Uh, except for the back or whatever you're placing your door, uh, you actually want gr glass block for that. Sorry, I, I'm always good at, um, at missing materials. But yeah, um, I'm just going to place glass pane over here. 
get that over with. So now we can get rid of the glass pane. Damn it. I always get rid of the wrong thing, and I always grab the wrong thing. But yeah, um, and then on the left and right side, you place the pane. Um, and then below the hay, the, below these hay bales, you want to put um, slab, um, just for the design of it. And then, uh, right where you have your glass and everything, you can place your door. Uh, and then put the stone button on the hay bale and not the glass, because then it's not going to open. Um, I don't know why, it's kind of dumb, but... Alright, but inside, we actually want to work the mechanism before we do anything, because we would have to destroy the chicken coop in order to do anything. Um, so... Um, actually, you know what? Completely tear off the front of the chicken coop. You don't have to take out the glass, just tear it at the front. Um, and then inside, where the door is, uh, you want to place a row of slab, uh, and then just put two on the end. And then just place a hopper right there in the middle. Uh, actually, before you do that, below it, you want to put a dispenser. Or actually, hang on. And, okay, so, you see where we have this hole, right? So you have the door. Uh, it's one block. Or it's like almost like two blocks in front of it, right? You want to go down from there and then go forward one. Make sure it's facing forward. There we go. And then place a hopper in the little hole. Uh, or actually, no. Place a hopper on the ground. Make sure it's facing the um, back of this um, dispenser. If I can, f oh my freaking god, this is this is annoying. <laughs> All right, uh, and then you, yeah. So make sure that that um, hopper is facing the back of that dispenser, and then on top of that hopper, you want to place another hopper. So then, like the eggs fall into the hop. Why the? Oh my. God. Yeah, make sure that hopper is pointing straight down to this hopper. Make sure this hopper is going into this dispenser. So when the eggs fall into here, this hopper, it'll fall into this hopper, which will take it to this hopper, which will take it into the dispenser. So then when you open up the menu, hopefully you'll have some eggs in there. Which I'm sure you will. It's a pretty compact design, so the eggs should be able to make it in here. Um, but yeah, and then just fill up the rest of the floor, and then you can repair the rest of your chicken. Whoops. Make sure. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so... Yeah, um, and you could repair the rest of your chicken coop. Um, and then for the little, uh, the little door, uh, what I'd like to do, uh, before we do anything, uh, we, let's place some, let's hide the mechanism by placing yellow wool around this, instead of hay bales, because this kind of adds, like, a little bit of a texture type thing to the design. I don't know, it's kind of, I can't really describe it. Then you can place oak slab on top of the yellow wool, because you'll still be able to see the mechanism from here. Uh, you want to completely hide that. Uh, so then, yeah, place a, um, <clears throat> a slab on top of that. And then for the little um, door, on either side of the dispenser, place trap door. And then place a trap door on top of that. If I can even do that. I don't think, did I, was I able to do that? Oh, I wasn't. Okay. Actually, place slab on top of that. All right. And then place the trap doors on either side. And then just place the trap door on the front. And I'll make you a little thing there to where you can just open it up and then you can gather your eggs, and below that you can put some, uh, slab, kind of make it better. Alright, and then for the top, you simply just fill up the roof with slab, and now you've made a chicken coop. So it's a working chicken coop, you can actually get eggs from it, so it's pretty cool. Like, I literally just got two eggs from this one. So, and they're laying a bunch of eggs in there, so it's pretty cool. So you can use that for a farm, it's real compact. Um, yeah, you can just use it for any farm. If it's too big, you can obviously make it smaller if you want to. Um, though I prefer it to be this size because of the mechanism, so. Yeah, I don't even think you can make it smaller. I think this is as small as it can get, but. But no worries, it does work. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully when I, in the far, far future, when I do farm builds, um, I'll be doing some more of those. I'll make a barn, I'll make a farmhouse. Um, obviously, I'll probably make the chicken coop in a separate tutorial, but, yeah, just in case. But, yeah, but that's the chicken coop, guys. I sure hope you all enjoyed. Um, already 24 minutes in the video. That's incredible. Alright. Last thing we're gonna make is the photo booth, so you can make it any color you want. I'm gonna make it something different. I'm not gonna make it, uh, I'm gonna make it purple. Purple's a, a nice color. I like purple. Um... So you're gonna need that. Uh, you're gonna need a button. If you can find a button, 
There you go, button. Um, you're gonna need an observer, a d dispenser, you're gonna need a lot of things, guys. Um, uh, you're gonna need item frames, and paintings, and signs. Um, and, uh, you guys can use the magenta glazed terracotta for, like, the arrow. That's optional. You guys don't actually have to add that, though. That's just something I'd like to add for, like, extra decoration. I do not need yellow glazed terracotta. Get in there. I don't need you with me. Um, glass pane for, like, a screen. And then you're gonna need a uh, slab for, like, the top. Uh, you can use whatever slab you want. I'm just gonna use quartz for today. Uh, banner for, like, the curtain. Um, I'm just gonna use white. Use any color, obviously. Um, you're gonna need a redstone lamp for the, the flashing light, because it's the only lamp that'll actually work. Where are the redstone lamps? I must be blind, because I cannot find the redstone lamps. Oh, they're up here. Okay. Anyway, um, you're gonna need paper for the photos, or you can use empty maps, but I personally like paper. Uh, fuck, I like when I can find it, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> oh, you're gonna need redstone. That's definitely something you're gonna need. You're gonna need redstone to get the signal. Uh, let me just check. Uh, oh yeah, you're gonna need, uh, stairs. Uh, for the photo dispenser thing. Uh, you're gonna need end rod. I can find it. End rod, end rod. Mm, there we go. End rod. And then you're gonna need, um, damn it. You're gonna need carpet. And these, those are just for the seat. Um, and then I believe that's about it. Yeah, there's really nothing else you need. And then, of course, the flooring material, but you all know about that. Um, you know, to fill in the gap. So basically what you want to do is you want to put a row, so like, uh, so like as we're facing this one right here, so this green one, for example, um, the long side, the longer side, uh, you want to do one, two, three, four, five, six uh, on the side that's not going to have anything on it. And you want to put two more rows and then put slab on top, which you should have slab with you, obviously. Um, there we go. And just put the slab on top of that. Like, so you basically create a little wall. Um, on the shorter ends, uh, you want to extend... Um, them left, extend them by three, um, obviously make them as high as the other wall, and then put the slab on top, basically, alright, and then obviously you can just put the slab, connect that to the end there, and then just kind of fill in the top of the roof, um, but yeah, anyway, so, Next, what you want to do is you want to completely fill in this top row here. You're not going to do anything up there. Um, but then, here's where things kind of start to go down. Here's where everything kind of... Okay, so dig in the floors and then obviously fill in whatever floor material you want. I'm just going to do purple because really, um, what else could I do? Uh, leave a gap of two from the end and then, yeah, put another row here. Uh, and then put another row... And then make sure this is a gap here. And then put a stair in here. So like, because this is the part where the photos will be coming out. And for me, I'm going to have the photos come out on the outside. Because that's personally my favorite. Because I make it more realistic. Uh, this is the optional step. So you can put an item frame on top of it. And you can have the arrow pointing down. as like, hey, here's where you get your photos. You blind woman. Anyway. Um, and then beside the photo booth, or beside the entrance, you could probably put photos and stuff around the photo booth, because that's what most photo booths have, they kind of have like photos around the thing, and that's kind of what the paintings represent, so you can kind of, I personally like the ones that kind of have heads, or some sort of like faces on them, um, so like the three-headed one, and then you got, um, and these are two by two paintings, uh, you can obviously leave it blank if you want to, but just to add some more decoration, uh, you can add a um, painting on the Place. And you, they don't have to be the same on each side. They can be, you know, all mixed match and everything. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's the outside covered. The outside's pretty much done. Um, you come inside here, so the inside's looking pretty good. I don't know if we have to do the ceiling. No. Oh, we do? Oh, well, I guess we do. 
Yeah, so fill in the ceiling, I guess. Yeah, fill in the ceiling. Uh, unless you like the high ceiling, um, but you really don't need that much space in the ceiling. Uh, so once you come inside, obviously place the curtain down before you do that. Uh, so you don't need the magenta glazed terracotta anymore at all, so you can get rid of that. Place the curtain down, and then here's where we do the inside. So place a block where the stair is, and then place a button on it. Dig out a block in front of that, or actually dig out two in front of that. Um, uh, put all your materials that you have right now, put them in your inventory. Grab, um, redstone, paper, redstone lamp, dispenser, observer, white carpet, and end rod, and then your flooring material. Um, so underneath the block with the button, place the redstone, and then underneath that, and then, or, sorry, beside that, place the dispenser, make sure it's facing up. Um, and then place the floor material back in front of that. Um, and then place an observer right on top of the dispenser there. Place a redstone lamp on top of the button with the block. Or on top of the block with the button. So like not only will the, uh, the, when you press the button it'll flash. It'll also dispense photos. So it's kind of realistic. And then place per, uh, the color of your machine or the color of your booth on top of the observer. And then place an item frame on top of that, or on that. And then place uh, a white stained glass pane in front of that, so that's like a screen. In the corner over here, in the back corner, we're going to have a seat. So just get end rod and carpet. Place end rod. This also will light the place up a little bit. Because you're, you're using end rod. Why the hell will it not? There we go. Okay, so that's like, kind of like a little seat. You obviously can't really sit on it, but, you know, kind of adds real, more realism. And, you know, it lights, plain. It lights things up. But yeah, that's your photo booth done. It's super simple. Um, it's real. It's big, but it's simple. Um, and you know, it's a real. It's a. It's a. It's a working one too. So it's really cool. Um, oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't actually fill in the. Uh, the dispenser, unfortunately. But let's just do that real quick so you guys can get the demonstration. Um. Oh wait, hang on. You guys don't even need the redstone at all. What the heck? Okay, so we made a little mistake, but it's minor. I mean, hey, it happens all the time. If I'll be honest. So we actually don't even need to mess with anything under here. Um, uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to place... I think, I think that might be it. No. No. Actually, no, you do need the redstone. Okay, I'm very stupid, guys. Just, just remember that. So you need to place the redstone under the button, but don't place anything under the observer. Place the uh, dispenser underneath the stair, and of course have it facing up, like I said. If I can get that to do that. Alright, and then place whatever flooring material you have. It's just a little minor mistake. Nothing, nothing much there. Damn it! Alright, there you go. Then of course place that. So here's your working photo booth done. And of course, for the sign, you can obviously just place a, a, fun, a little sign up here. It says photos. But of course, I'm going to spell it wrong for the fun of it. Of course, I know how to spell photos. P-H-O-T-O-S. But the way I'm spelling it is F-O-T-O-Z. <laughs> like photos. It's a real funny little way to spell it. So when you press the button, it flashes. And then it dispenses your photos. So pretty cool working uh, photo booth. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, I did change my character, yes, Minecraft did an update, uh, they got rid of my, um, Halo guy, and I'm now Niall Horn. Uh, it's a custom-made skin, so if you play Minecraft, you can now custom-make little people, little Minecraft character people. Uh, you can custom-make them. Uh, this one's supposed to be Niall Horn from the One Direction. Um, you know, when he had blonde hair and everything, but yeah. Anyways, I sure hope y'all... He just closed his eyes. Yeah, there's also a blinking feature with the mini fingers as well. They'll sometimes like have their eyes closed for like like a, a like twenty seconds. Like, see, his eyes closed. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but yeah, there's a blinking feature with this as well. It's pretty cool. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> He's doing it with his eyes closed. <laughs> but if you did, please smash a like and subscribe to the channel. I will do the uh um what's that place called uh. <laughs> Uh, Taco Bueno tutorial tomorrow. Definitely, I, I promise you, I will do it tomorrow. 
But if you guys enjoyed, yeah, smash like, subscribe to the channel. Road to 200 subscribers, guys. We have gained subscribers, which is good. Let's see if we can get to 200. Um, but if you guys didn't, um, yeah, I already showed you guys that. Uh, turn on notifications so you won't miss an upload. Also, subscribe to my second channel, LoganC224. Road to 20 subscribers on that channel. Uh, turn on notifications on that channel so you won't miss uploads on that channel. Follow me on Twitter, uh, Logan Corelli at FlashLover61. Follow me on Instagram, LCorelli2006. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.